Hey guys, I've been promising you this video for a really long time. I am going to be hauling all of the things that I purchased, not all of the things, most of the things that I purchased while I was away in Europe. I spent some time in Florence, I spent some time in Milan, and I also spent some time in London. And I did purchase some fun things in each city. I was very, very determined to get city appropriate things, if that makes sense. So the first stop that I made was in Florence, Italy. And of course, of course, I had to stop by Gucci. So the first thing that I got uh, at the Gucci store is this silk pajama top. And I fully intend on wearing this out. It is so beautiful. This silk is so, um, like it's not thick obviously it's silk but it has a lot of body so that it doesn't cling in strange places which i find some silks to do um, i also being in a really really dry climate i find some silks to just create a lot of static cling this does not i have been wearing this around <laughs> quite a bit ever since I got home and I just love it. It's so comfortable. Uh, it has pockets here. Um, it's got three large buttons. It's got this notch lapel and it's just, it's so great. And, and you guys know my arms are short. I always have to get sleeves shortened and I did not have to get these sleeves shortened. So very excited about that. I'll leave more information down below my description box, like the size and everything, because I forgot to look <laughs> before I put this on. Um, but I think like, I don't think it's small, medium, large. I think it's like a, like a European number size. So I think maybe this is either a 40 or 42 maybe a, f maybe a 40. So maybe it runs a little bit large. Anyway, I'll leave the information down below in the description box, but this is the first thing that I got at Gucci and I love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. I was going to get the whole set, but the pajama pants were a little bit long and I, you know, and then it has a cuff much like the sleeve. And I thought if I was going to shorten it and then the cuff would, I don't know, I kind of overthought it. Anyway, I just ended up with this. I figured I can always get the pajama pants a little bit later if I want. Um, but it's really all about the top, isn't it? I just love it. Okay. So that's the first thing that I got at Gucci. Okay. Did not want to clip my microphone onto my new shirt, but here we are. Let's, let's just do it. Hopefully you guys can hear me uh, fairly well. Anyway, uh, so the other things that I got at Gucci were just some fun accessories. I got this hat, which I really, really love. This is such an Italian hat. I feel like this is very Godfather. It's also very like I should be hanging out on a gondola, all the things. Anyway, I love this. It has a little B here on this black green gray ribbon. And then this has, I think you guys can see, but this has like a gold, uh, like Lorex to it. So it's like a shiny metallic hat. And this is actually one of the items, actually all of these items I ended up shipping from Milan back to the States because I didn't want to bring it over into the UK. So when I unpacked this hat, it was a little messed up. And thankfully I just sort of let it sit on my kitchen counter and it's relaxed and it's flat again. So here is more of a close up of the hat. Oh, and of the bee. And then the lining on the inside is pink, which is so great. And then this happens to be a size medium, which is a 57 centimeter and it fits me pretty well. And I have a really big head. So I don't know, I would have assumed that I would have been a large, but the medium fits me well. Oh, and there's the, the Gucci tag. So that is the other thing that I got. And then I did also pick up a pair of sunglasses. This you guys saw in the vlog. So uh, Caitlin, Sarah and myself, we all got sunglasses and they were all completely different. They were all very Gucci and they were all very us. So Caitlin got these incredible, she got so many compliments on these sunglasses. She, it was like definitely her best purchase of the trip. Um, but they were this like diagonally striped, huge, like plastic red and gold and cream colored, like oversized glasses. It looked perfect on her, on her like face shape. It was like her style totally went with everything that she had brought. It was just perfect. And then Sarah got some, uh, larger round sunglasses that were kind of flat. They were very like Jackie O, which is very her. Um, and I got these, which are very me. So they look like a simple black sunglass, but they are lined with crystals along the top there. And you can see how shiny the crystals are. Now, I don't usually get lenses that are this light or just kind of tinted in this way. I usually get just gray or 
uh, lenses that are just like pretty black. Um, but I really liked these lenses. Like I think I can see more clearly through these lenses than without. And they're not, um, oh God, what's the term? There's those lenses that polarize. They're not polarized or anything like that. They're just really, really clear. So anyway, love these and we'll leave the style number down below in the description box, but it's GG1461S. And again, they have those fun crystals on the top, which I love because they're kind of like a little surprise. Love it. And they also came in these cases. So I got a blue case, which then goes into this case. So it's a case in a case. <laughs> the last thing that I got at Gucci, which I think is one of my favorite purchases of the trip, are these sneakers. And I posted these on Instagram already, so this may be old news for you guys. But I just fell in love with how chunky <laughs> these sneakers are. Not only are they, you know, chunky with a really thick sole, but the whole sneaker is padded. I don't know if you can see how puffy these sneakers are, but they're totally padded. So they're really, really comfortable. Like you stick your foot in and it becomes like enveloped in this, almost like a memory foam. Really, really comfortable. They do also come with planar shoelaces if you're not into the blue and orange stripe. Um, but I just fell in love with them. These colors, like the aqua, the blue and the orange, probably not colors that I would normally go for, but I just loved all of this together. I loved it with the monogram. Of course, these crystals on the monogramming really, really sold me as well. So I got these, they're already kind of scuffed because I wore them all around Florence um, before I shipped them back. So this was another thing that I shipped back um, once we got to Milan, but I love them. They're a little bit on the heavy side, um, but yeah, because they're so comfortable, you almost don't even feel it. And then they do have like a, a B embossing. I hope you guys can see that, a B embossing on the bottom. And then Gucci. And then here are the heels. And then, did I show you guys the tongue? The tongue has the Gucci there. Isn't that cool? So the size of these, they're 38 and a half. And I can wear a 38 and a half or 39, so I would say they run true to size. If you're between sizes, I would go down. I love these, absolutely love these. So. Those are the four things that I got at the Gucci store in Florence. And then just to show you quickly some other kind of random things that I got while I was in Florence. So I stopped by this artist store and my friend Sarah had purchased some things from this artist already. And again, I'll leave all the information down below in my description box, but her name is Barbara and her Instagram is antique. I think it's Antique Florence. Why do I want to say Antique Tuscany? No, it's Antique, oh, here we go. Oh, it is Antique Tuscany. Um, here is her information. So I got these little pieces of artwork. So she does uh, little oil paintings and she uses antique frames. And I actually had to like fill out a little form or give her some information because I was taking an Italian antique out of the country. So I got two of these eyes. <laughs> <laughs> she had a whole bunch of these eyes. I just thought they were really, I don't know, I thought they were really cool. And they're little, as you can see. And then they're backed with some very typical like Florentine paper. And then the third one I got is of a bunny. She had a bunch of bunnies there too. This was uh, the least serious looking bunny. She had a lot of like bunny portraits. They were all very kind of serious looking, but this one, I feel like she's a she and she has a little bit of a twinkle in her eye. So I loved her. I'm gonna figure out how to hang these up together. I'm thinking down in my kitchen, but we have a lot of bunnies in my neighborhood. And every time we see a bunny, my husband and I, we just freak out. We're like, bunny! <laughs> we just love the bunnies. So anyway, I saw the bunnies and I was like, perfect for the house. So I picked those up from Barbara. And then in the vlog, I don't know if you guys remember this uh, from my Florence vlog, but we were on like the hunt for cashmere. And there was one cashmere store that was closed when we got there. We went back later uh, when it was open and it is this Frugoni 1885 store. And I ended up getting this really, really lightweight, I don't know if you could see, yeah really lightweight, gauzy, just crew neck, long sleeve uh, sweater. And it is 
cashmere and silk. Let me see if I can get the percentages. So it's 70 cashmere, 30 silk. And I just thought this would be so great, especially in Vegas where I don't have a lot of time to wear all of my really thick, <laughs> thick, fuzzy, extra warm sweaters. This would be just much more practical. So got it in black. I was tempted to get it also in like a dove gray, but I was like, let me slow down. It was the first city we were in. And um, yeah, I didn't want to like, <laughs> I didn't want to like blow my budget all in one city. So I picked up this one and I'm so excited for the cooler weather. I really feel like I've been um, hoarding sweaters because there's been so many good sales. Have you guys been like shopping all the sales? I feel like there have been some really, really intense sales this season. So I'm excited for the cooler months to come. Um, okay, so that is what I got in Florence. I picked up some other little things, but I'm not gonna bore you with them, like just some gifts or whatever. Let's move on to Milan. So as you guys know, we spent quite a bit of time in Florence. I think we spent the most time in Florence. And then we went to Milan just for a couple days because I wanted to go see Luna, who is the jewelry designer behind Lucifer Vere Onestis. And uh, I could not resist. I planned on going there to, you know, just shoot some footage of her studio and have her talk about her jewelry designing process, which is so fascinating. And if you guys haven't seen that Milan vlog, definitely check that out, especially if you're interested in fine jewelry, if you're interested in, you know, the craftsmanship behind certain things. Um, so I really was focused on that and I was not planning on purchasing anything. However, after walking around her studio, after listening to her talk about her process, you know, it's like you just fall in love with everything all over again. And I saw these two bands in her cabinet downstairs, in her submarine, and I put them on, they fit, and I was like, Luna, these aren't coming off. They're, <laughs> they're coming home with me, so just let me know how much I owe you. <laughs> so I just fell in love with these, and by the way, I do have a 10% off code. Luna was generous enough to extend a 10% off for these diamond bands if you're interested. But I just wanna show you how unique they are because she hand molds everything in wax and then gets the cast in gold. Isn't that cool? They all look like vines, which I really love. I love jewelry that looks very organic. So that was my very first purchase in Milan. It was like within, you know, three hours of being there. I was like, well, there you go. Just had to go and buy some jewelry. So that was my first purchase in Milan. And then of course I had to stop by Prada. So Prada is, uh, it's not just based in Milan, it's where it started. And this bag is unique to the very first Prada store, so which is right by the Duomo. I think the, I think it's just called like Prada Duomo Galleria Donna because it's for the women. The men's is in a separate section. Anyway, it's in a separate store. Um, anyway, so this is the bag that you get when you shop there. And I was like, I definitely, like I, you know, I threw out most of my shopping bags and boxes and stuff, like especially for shoes or whatever, it was too bulky. Um, but this one, I was like, I definitely, definitely have to pack or ship back. Yeah, this was actually something I shipped back. So um, keeping this, I'm thinking about framing it too. I'm thinking about actually cutting out one side of this bag and framing it. I think that would be awesome. So what did I get at the store? So I've already had to get it dry cleaned because I have already worn it and I actually wore it when I was in London. So if you do follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this shirt quite a bit, maybe a little bit in the vlog and definitely on Instagram. But anyway, I had to pick up this shirt because, well, not only do I love it, but I saw it here at the boutique um, that I shop at Vegas and they never have my size. So this definitely runs big. This is definitely a 40 and I'm usually like a 42 when it comes to Prada and yeah, and it's still like fairly oversized. So it's definitely uh, an oversized style of a shirt, but it's, it's like even bigger. Anyway, so I would definitely size down <laughs> if you're interested. That's what I'm trying to say very ineloquently. Um, but this is just a white cotton poplin shirt with a breast pocket and then it has nylon sleeves. There's the Prada. Um, triangle there, the little zipper pocket. I'm trying to decide what I can keep in that pocket. <laughs> and on the other sleeve, it's completely plain. So all of the 
fun fanciness is on the left hand side, which is great if you're right-handed. I love, love, love this shirt. And I was so happy that I could find something at the original Prada boutique. It was just so exciting to be there. But I have to say, I wasn't that impressed with the handbag selection. It was, um, stuff that I had seen before. There wasn't anything really unique to that location. And I really thought that there was gonna be like some special pieces that I hadn't seen elsewhere, but it was all pretty, I don't wanna say run of the mill. It was all uh, things I had seen before. So I don't know, I wasn't that jazzed about any of them, but I'm so glad that I picked up this shirt. Yes, I'm like such a blouse queen. Okay, so that's all I picked up in Milan. Moving over to London, the first stop we made was actually to Loop London. And Loop London is uh, predominantly a yarn store, but they have uh, other things for different crafts or whatever. And Loop London was definitely, when I was uh, a knitter and a knitwear designer, it was definitely one of those destination stores. And I always wanted to go, always wanted to go. And I was so happy that I could finally make it. And it just brought back all these memories. If you guys don't know, I used to be a hand knitwear designer. And so I was really, really eyeball deep in uh, the yarn world. And, you know, I always wanted to check out, you know, stores across the world because they, you know, they carry such unique things. And I was so happy to finally make it to Loop. So anyway, I don't need any more yarn. I still have a ton of yarn. I haven't knit in probably four years at this point. Um, but they had some really cool um, hand carved items, objects uh, from a Japanese artist. And the first one is a mushroom. <laughs> How cute is that? I just love it. I love mushrooms, I love toadstools, and I figured I could just put this on my desk. And the other thing that I really love are acorns. And this actually is a little container. How cute is that? Um, but if you're interested in crafting, knitting, crocheting, anything of that sort, uh, weaving, definitely, definitely check out uh, Loop London. I mean, it's, it's just, like the most charming store. There's two stories. It's really like cute. It's very homey. Um, Susan, who's the owner of Loop Lunder, is a gem. I absolutely love her. I was so happy I got to meet her as well. Um, yeah, so just had the best time there and they just have the most precious things. And then I didn't get to make it to Selfridges. Selfridges is a store that I've actually been to before previous trips to London. And so my friends that I was traveling with, Sarah and Caitlin, they were there and I was actually back at the, um, at the flat. I keep wanting to say apartment. I was back at the flat. I was doing a little bit of work. So anyway, um, Sarah knew that I was looking for a very uh, particular pair of Birkenstocks and they had them at Selfridges. So she picked them up for me. So these are the Boston clogs in the taupe, like oiled leather. These have been sold out in my size in the US. They're probably back in stock at this point, but they've been sold out of my size forever, forever. So I was so glad that I could grab these and they had like a black on black. So they had like a black oiled leather with a black buckle that I really wanted to, but I was like, slow down, <laughs> just get one pair. So I went with these. Oh, you know, I'm actually messing up the order. So the first store we actually went to, like the first, we like checked into our VRBO and then we left and we went to Liberty because one of us needed something. Anyway, I love Liberty. I mean, Liberty is just, uh, just it's a gorgeous building. They have a great assortment of things, but it's really the building. It's so, it's so English. <laughs> it's so British. It has this like Tudor style to it. And there's like all these carvings on the inside, a lot of dark wood. Anyway, it's just a gorgeous building. Um, but having been someone who was, you know, a knitter, a sewer, a quilter, um, Liberty of London has always meant their fabrics to me. I love, love, love their Tantalon um, cottons. It's just, mm, just beautiful. The patterns are great. So I really wanted to get something from their little crafting sewing section. So I just picked up a little sewing kit <laughs> and it actually came in handy because one of the trousers that I had brought with me, the hem fell. So I could hem that up quickly, but is that cute? It's got everything you need. And you know, they used to have sewing kits in hotels and places, um, but they didn't have, because we stayed at a hotel in Milan, um, and they didn't have a sewing kit there. So I was glad I could pick this up, but this is going to go into my travel bag from now on, because when you really need one, you really need one, and it's very, very handy. So glad I picked that up. Okay, so Liberty, Loop, Selfridges. Okay, I went to Harrods, as you guys know. I did not get anything at Harrods except for shortbread cookies, which I've already eaten. There was so much to 
be had at Harrods that I think I was overwhelmed. I was able to put my name on the list for the Chanel section. So there was a whole wait list. I probably, I don't know, I put my name down and maybe like an hour later they texted me and they said, oh, come back to the line. You know, you're like second in line. And so it didn't take that long. And there were a ton of people just, yeah, just a ton of people milling about and a ton of people wanting to shop Chanel. Like when I showed up um, to get back in line, there were a ton of people there. Anyway, it was like a whole ordeal, but they had all of like the fall goodies. And so the colors for the Chanel fall line are so rich, so autumnal. Those are my favorite colors in the entire world. If I'm gonna do color, as you guys know, I like neutrals, but if I'm gonna do color, I really like rich oranges and caramels and olive greens and deep yellows. And that's exactly what the Chanel collection was. So I was very, very close to getting a medium sized boy bag in a really rich caramel. And I, I was just kind of going back and forth. There was that one, they had, you know, flat bags, which are just really outrageously priced at this point. So that was, that definitely gave me pause, you know, and I was looking at some of the SLGs and some of the tweeds, it was just so much. And so, you know, they put the medium boy bag on hold for me. And I went back to find, you know, my two friends, Sarah and Caitlin, and we were just talking it through. And I was like, you know, I, I just couldn't feel like I could make a decision. And again, just being overwhelmed with everything at Harrods. So I never ended up getting it. I don't think I regret it. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I feel like, you know what, there'll be another collection of Chanel's that I really love and I'll probably end up getting a bag from that. So um, anyway, that was Harrods. Didn't get anything, I surprised myself. Um, but we went to Brown's, which was actually right around the corner from where we were staying. We kept walking by it and we were like, is this the Brown's? You know, because we kept um, hearing about it. Like our friends in Milan were like, you gotta check out Brown's. And I've shopped Brown online. And so it, it looked very small. So we just weren't sure if that was the actual location and it was. So we ended up going there and it was amazing. I think that was my favorite store. It reminded me of Barney's. Everything was really impeccably merchandised and edited down. It was, it was like the exact opposite of Harrods. Harrods just has everything. It's like, if there's anything you want, go to Harrods, you'll find it. Brown's was very specific. It was very like for a very specific customer. And I just loved it. It was really, yeah, it was just like easy to shop through. Um, they like edited down all of the options for me and I love that. And that's what I really loved about Barney's. And I was actually speaking to one of the sales associates there and I was like, can you guys open up <laughs> like a location in the U S because we're really missing that once Barney's closed, that gap just hasn't been filled. That hole has not been filled. And she was like, Oh really? Um, and she started talking about Mr. and Mrs. B, I guess that's Mr. and Mrs. Brown. And they used to spend a lot of time in the US. They used to introduce a lot of British designers to the US and vice versa. They hung out at Studio 54. I was like, what? They sound like the coolest people ever. So anyway, I was like, please tell, tell whoever you need to tell, like, please open up a spot in the US because we desperately need it. But anyway, the best thing is they give any foreign travelers 20% off. So I show them my passport and then in general, they need to see like a, like a ticket, like an airline ticket. So they know that you're like in and out. You're not someone who's actually like living there or something. And they give you 20% off. So I ended up getting another one of my favorite purchases from the trip, a small Loewe puzzle bag. It's a bag that I've been wanting. It's a bag that I've been eyeing. Um, the small size is great. I always thought I wanted a medium, but the small size is perfect. There's something about the, this kind of camera bag shape. It just fits a ton. And I love the little pocket in the back. I have the extra large version that I like to use as a carry on sometimes. And yeah, I just love it. So the carry on, the extra large version that I have, I should have brought it, sorry. Um, it has more of like a grained leather. And so it's a leather that's a little bit, um, stiffer and it wears a little bit. Well, this one is the softer version of that. And so it's a little bit smoother, it's softer, and it's already kind of starting to sag a little bit, which is really nice. Such a good find at Brown's. And yeah, with the 20% off, it really ended up being quite a deal. I think with the conversion rate, I ended up saving about a thousand dollars on this bag. I think this bag is around 3000, a little over $3,000 here in the U S and with the conversion rate, 
um, I ended up getting this for like over 2000, maybe like 20, around 2300. So yeah, very exciting. And the strap is long enough for me to wear a crossbody. It's got this top one. I don't have to talk about the puzzle bag to you guys. You guys know <laughs> the Loewe puzzle bag, very, very popular bag. I think that's their best seller and it's been around for, for decades. That is basically everything that I got while I was in Europe. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, again, I'll leave as much information down below in my description box as I can. Like, you know, if I can link to stuff, I don't know if I can link to everything, but that's it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you in my next video.